In early August, the frying pan river is the setting for one of Colorado's most popular fly fishing events, the Green Drake Mayfly Hatch. Once the green drakes begin coming off, the daily hatches will continue throughout most of August. Expert fly fisher and guide, Kirk Webb, takes you inside the finer points of dissecting the hatch. We're looking at a lot of different types of insects here. The most prevalent, the one that really stands out the most, are these large green drake nymphs that we have. You can see just how robust and big in size these critters are. And it's really a very big sizable insect. It's actually one of the largest mayfly species that we have here in the state, which is why it draws so much attention. Obviously, we all like to fish big flies that we can see. To match the hatching insects, anglers will need an assortment of size 12 dry flies, including a green drake dry fly, an olive comparadon, a parachute atoms, and size 12 to 14 nymphs, such as a brown hackle peacock, and a beethead pheasant tail. The nymphs almost always live in this very, very fast, highly oxygenated water. There's a fish right there, came up on it. Now one of the best ways to fish these green drakes in this hatch up here to fish a dry dropper setup. And this is where the magic happens up here. There's one on the dry fly. Well, actually on the dropper. There we go. <laughs> you know, this is kind of your average size fish that we have up here in the valley, you know? Kind of a nice, smaller sized ground trout. You know, it's a good sign that we have a good, healthy population of fish up here. There's one on the dry fly, taking us out in the faster water. But it's a great opportunity for those who don't fish a lot to also get into numbers of fish. And for the more avid angler, there's also some bigger fish like what we have here, kind of ripping me downstream here. 